This is Bill. Bill woke up in a casket surrounded by his daddy, his wife, his brother, his sister. And what really messed with Bill after he woke up was that he was the only one breathing. So Larry is begging, begging for his life. And Susan is watching. Now they went out for their first date tonight and everything seemed all right until things went sideways and Susan came back to Larry's apartment and now she's watching him beg himself to spare his own life. But the dark side tells him that he's gonna kill Susan and then that he's next. But then he switches back to the light side and then back to the dark side and back to the light side. The dark side tells him, shut up or you're next. Now what he doesn't know <laughs> is Susan has been dead for a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody sitting here banging help. Help. on her door. Help. Now first of all, Charlotte don't play that. You know, she uh, she don't stay in the nicest of neighborhoods, so she don't mess around with nobody knocking on her door. But she get up and go check out who it is. And of course, it's this big greasy guy she met at the gas station earlier. He said he got a fake voice plan just so he can get in. But what he don't know is that she got the glizzy on him. She stayed with that thing thing. And the messed up part is she was in such a rush to get away from him earlier that she dropped her wallet and he was just trying to bring it back. So my man Dante, he done poisoned his girl and like this the 10th time, man. And every time they put on life support, but she just keep on coming back out of it. You know, he... Thinking she got to be half cat or something, but twelve and found out. So uh, <laughs> you're gonna get locked up this time. Now look, I sat up in the living room, just watching TV or whatever, right? You know, and I'm, you know, and I listen to my my only pet eating her food in the kitchen, right? So you know, I, I just kind of looking around, man, and I turn to the right. I see that she been sleeping right next to me the whole time. Ooh -wee. Now some folk might turn around. Some folk might, you know, gotta be like, oh my God, what's that behind me? What's, I gotta look and see, but let me tell you about me. <laughs> now me, I know that whatever it is, 
ain't something that I paid for or something that I let in here. So in order for it to be in here, it then broke in or it's smart enough to know how to open the door or it's some kind of ghost to see it and you know it can, can uh, float through the walls or whatever the case is. So instead of turning around and, and playing Scooby Doo and you know all that, it uh grabbed my phone and you know because I gotta keep the phone on. I got my phone and I hit it out the door, man. So uh my house now belongs to whatever that thing is and uh, and I just want the thing to know that rent due on the first and you know, all that and Netflix due and all that stuff due on the, I got everything due on either the first or the fifteenth so I hope that it enjoys <laughs> I hope that it enjoys my spot and you know I got a little uh, I got some rib tips in the refrigerator oh you know what I'm gonna have to go in I gotta go in there and get them real tips. Now I can't just let them have my barbecue, so I gotta go in there and get that. But I'm, I'm gonna wait a couple of days. You know, I ain't in no rush or nothing. Yeah. Little Timmy tried to tell his mama that his friends was real. They weren't just no pretend friends. But she would never believe him. Timmy mama kind of fine, by the way. And whenever he tried to tell his friends about his mama, they wouldn't believe because they couldn't see her either. She was invisible too. So the real question is, <laughs> Who raising this little boy? <laughs> Who paying the bills?